What is up guys? This video is going to be teaching you everything you need to know about flashlights in Dead by Daylight. Flashlights are arguably the most powerful item in the game. They give survivors the opportunity to make big plays, which may also be why they seem to be hated by most killer players as well. Today, I'll be teaching you how to properly use them as survivor, as well as how to counterplay them as killer. We'll begin with the basics. Flashlights in DVD require you to shine the beam at the killer's face for one whole second for the blind to kick in. Anything less will only turn the killer's camera slightly bright and go away instantly. It's also important to note that when the blind kicks in, it lasts about two seconds and then slowly fades. You can actually re-blind the killer quickly by starting another blind just as it begins to fade. This is called chain blinding and we'll come back to it later in the video. Killers can only be blinded by a survivor standing in their field of view. If you're too far to the side of the killer, the blind will not go through. This is very important to consider when counterplaying flashlights as killer. It's also important to know that a killer can avoid being blinded by looking up or down at any point. This makes it possible to avoid being blinded even if there are survivors all around you. This also means that as a survivor, you cannot realistically get a blind on a killer unless they're stuck in an animation. Open field flashlight attempts will end badly. One of the most common and easiest uses for a flashlight is a pallet blind. When the killer is locked in the animation of breaking the pallet, shine the flash in their face and try to move somewhere unpredictable to lose them. Keep in mind, survivors make sounds that killers can track while blinded, such as footsteps or groans of pain when injured. This makes Iron Will a good choice if you're going to be actively going for pallet blinds. As killer, learn to listen for sound cues, or even try to use a reasonable prediction to guess where they're going. If you can manage to stick with a survivor after being blinded, they lose all the ground they would have made up by just sprinting away instead. This can be a huge benefit to you as a killer and help you end your chases much faster. The next thing we'll touch on is chain blinding. Chain blinding is when you continue the blind on a killer just as it begins to fade, and keep him blinded for an extended amount of time. This can be done by knowing how long a blind lasts, and timing the flashlight correctly. This is a very risky strategy though, as the killer can easily look up to avoid the blind. You'll most likely be left in a very bad position and you're almost guaranteed to take a hit for it. As killer, you can hear the flashlight clicks when the survivor attempts a chain blind. This makes it extremely easy to track them while blinded. Alright, now, let's talk about the strongest and most difficult skill to learn, flashlight saves. If you're wondering how this works, a killer that is carrying a survivor will drop the survivor if blinded, but is immune during the animation of picking up. This means that as a survivor, you must time your blinds so that the second the killer gains free movement and is no longer in the animation, the blind kicks in and he is forced to drop the survivor. If the blind is done too early, the immunity will kick in and he will keep the survivor on his shoulders. Likewise, if the timing is too late, the killer will be able to look up or away to avoid the blind fully going through. So what is the timing? With the recent changes to pickups in patch 2.1, the pickup animation has been reduced drastically. I hear a lot of tricks that people say such as counting to 2, but everyone counts at different speeds and the timing is so precise that you really can't afford to be half a second off. The best way to learn how to do this is by learning when in the pickup animation that you need to begin your blind. We'll run a slow clip here of the timing. The best way I can try to describe it is just a half second before the survivor touches the killer's shoulder. There really is no perfect trick to get it every time, so it just requires some practice. Smaller killers also have a different animation than the larger ones, but the timing is still the same. It's also possible to get saves against Freddy even when not in the dream world. You can tell the direction the killer is facing during pickup by looking at the direction the legs of the survivor are pointing. The killer always looks in the same direction as the survivor's legs on their shoulder. Flashlight saves can be absolutely devastating to a killer's map pressure, especially when playing high level survivors that are already hard to catch to begin with. Luckily, there is a ton of counterplay to these, especially since patch 2.1's new pickup speed. As survivor, you need to already be in a good position prior to the pickup to have a chance to get the timing right. This makes hiding and predicting killers very important, but also makes it incredibly easy for a killer to counterplay. Probably the easiest and most common way to avoid flashlight saves is by facing walls when picking up survivors as killer. This guarantees that the survivor can't get the angle needed to get the blind. 
It's also very common to have a wall nearby when getting it down because survivors usually try to stay near structures with pallets or windows when juking. If the survivor goes down in an open spot and you're aware that survivors may be going for a save, patrol the area near the down survivor before picking up. If you see any survivors around with flashlights, simply chase them away and pick up facing the opposite direction. The pickup speed buff has made it so fast that even when the survivor is very close, they have very little time to reposition to get the save. If you feel like completely disregarding everything in this video and trading a perk slot for complete shutdown of every flashlight in your lobby, then boy do I have the perk for you. Invest in the hillbilly perk Lightborn. Lightborn increases your resistance to flashlights by 60% at max rank. Now based on Behavior Studios math, that somehow takes the time to blind from 1 second to 2.5 seconds. So in reality, it's a 150% increase to blind time. This is enough to shut down literally everything a flashlight does. Pallet blinds are barely even noticeable and become basically suicide for the survivor. Flashlight saves are also completely impossible. It would make sense that a 2.5 second blind could work during a 3 second pickup, but the killer actually looks down at the beginning of the animation and completely negates the blind for almost a whole second. This makes it so there's just enough time to avoid the blind every time. That should be just about everything you need to know about flashlights. Keep in mind they are a very powerful tool but can also be countered very easy by a killer that's aware. If you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to sub to the channel and throw any comments or suggestions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and take care.